high students. In this class, we have do some important problems in different schools. Let us discuss some important problems. First question is O is equal to log log x to the base 7 to the base 7. In calculus, natural logarithms are used. That means the base of the logarithm is e. In calculus, we use the logarithm whose base is e, log x. That is d by dx of log of x means d by dx of log x means d by dx of log x to the base e. Here we introduce one base that is E. And uh, it can be written as d by dx of log x divided by log a. Here base E is understood. And 1 by log a is a constant, so let me take 1 by log a. into d by dx of log x that is 1 by log a into derivative log x is 1 by x so the answer is 1 by x into log a this is the answer see the difference between d by dx of log x to the base d and d by dx of log x to the base a both are defined here. Using this result, we are going to find the derivative of the function v is equal to log log x to the base 7. Here base of the logarithm is 7, but here base of the logarithm is e. If the base is not given in calculus, base e is we take the base as e. Isn't it? So here we can reference to sing this row log log x to the base e log 7 to the base e. Now again log log x divided by log 7 base e is understood. Now find d y by dx. d y by dx yeah, log 7 is a constant. So 1 by log 7 into d by dx of log of log x. Log of log x. Log of log x is function of a function form. So 1 by log 7 is a constant. Up, out of function and uh, inner function. Here log log x is 1 by log x and log x is 1 by x. So the answer is 1 divided by log 7 into x log x x into log x. 
resistance is an engine. Next question is when is equal to sine goes to raise to x plus 1 by 1 plus 4 raise to x. It can be otherwise. Sine goes to raise to x into 2 by 1 plus 2 square the 4 raise to x. Here we are using two expansion rules x raised to m plus uh, m, x raised to m into x raised to m. And uh, another is one more rule is x raised to m the whole raised into m is equal to x raised to m the whole raised into m. The second, so it can be written as using this rule. 2 into 2 raised to x by 1 plus x raised to m the whole raised to m x raised to m the whole raised to m that is 2 raised to x the whole square. Now put in 2 raised to x is equal to tan beta. 2 raised to x is equal to tan beta so sine goes to tan beta by 1 plus tan theta whole square tan theta whole square is tan square beta 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square beta is sin 2 theta sin inverse sin 2 theta so here it belongs to theta that is 2 in the theta is tan inverse 2 raised to x tan inverse 2 raised to x is equal to theta that is 2 into tan inverse 2 raised to x isn't it now find the by the x now dy by dx is equal to 2 is a constant of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square 2 raised to x the whole square into now find the derivative of 2 raised to x d by dx of 2 raised to x that is 2 2 into 1 is 2 by 1 plus here I am writing this whole again 2 square the whole raised to x 2 square the whole raised to x into the derivative of 2 raised to x is 2 raised to x and we know 2 that is 2 raised to Two raised to x into log two. Now we can compare these two. X raised to m into x raised to x raised to m plus seven. So two raised into x into two. Two raised into x plus one divided by one plus four raised to x into log two. Two raised to x plus one into log two divided by one plus four raised to this is an important question. Next question is differentiate sine square x with the respect to e raised to x. Here we have to find the derivative of sine square x with respect to e raised to x. That is d by dx of d by d e raised to x of the way with respect to x is e raised to x sin square of x it can be written as d by dx of sin square x divided by d by dx of e raised to x we introduce some dx on both numerator and denominator the derivative of sin square x with respect to x is 2 sin x into the derivative of sin x is cos x function of a function e raised to x is e raised to x so the answer is sin 2 x by e raised to x this is the answer another example is the derivative of sin inverse to x by 1 plus x 
the prospect of time losses. Day by day, time losses of sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x by that is d by dx of sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x by divided by d by dx of tan inverse x In the numerator, we put x to the tan theta. So, to tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sin to theta. So, here we find dx of sin inverse to tan theta by by 1 plus tan square theta whole divided by d by dx of tan inverse x isn't it? to tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is sin u theta d by d dx of sin inverse sin 2 theta divided by d by dx of tan theta tan inverse x now sin inverse sin get cancelled. <coughs> that is equal to d by dx of 2 into theta. Theta is same as tan inverse x. Theta is tan inverse x. Therefore, 2 into tan inverse x divided by d by dx of tan inverse x. Here, in the numerator we can take on two outside d by dx of tan inverse x divided by d by dx of tan inverse x. Here, d by dx of tan inverse x get cancelled now. We get the derivative of the function is the derivative of sin inverse to x square plus x square with respect to tan inverse x is 2. Uh, not need to find the derivative of these two functions. Both are same, so we can eliminate the functions. Isn't it? Next question is if cos y is equal to x cos f plus y, prove that dy by dx is equal to cos square a plus y by sin a. Here x cos a plus y is equal to cos y. Therefore x is equal to cos y by cos a plus y. This is u and this is v. Now we can apply quotient rule. Differentiating x with respect to y. Differentiating x with respect to y. So dx by dy is equal to denominator in the cos a plus y into d by dy of cos y numerator minus cos y into d by dy of denominator is cos a plus y. Whole divided by denominator square that is cos square a plus y. Cos a plus y the whole square. Now cos a plus y into the radius of cos y with respect to y is minus sin y. Minus cos y into Function of a function cos a plus y minus sin a plus y 
into the ratio of a is 0 plus the ratio of y with respect to y not x the ratio of y with respect to a is 1 that divided by denominator square that is cos square a plus 1 here minus and minus becomes plus I am rearranging this function psi a plus y in the cos y psi a plus y in the cos y minus cos a plus y into sin divided by cos square a plus y. Now it is in a standard form sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. What about sin a cos b minus cos a sin b? Sin a minus b. That is sin a minus b. A is a plus y. Minus b is 1. That divided by cos square a plus 1. Here plus y and minus y get cancelled. This is dx by dy. Now we have to find therefore dy by dx are equal to taking the same properties here. Cos square a plus y by sin a. Hence, uh, we can put this. Isn't it? In similar way, you can prove another question. If sin y is equal to x sin a plus y, then prove that dy by dx is equal to sin square a plus y by sin a. Practice this question like this. Okay. Another question is if x in the root of 1 plus y plus y in the root of 1 plus x is equal to 0. So that dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square here x are in the root of 1 plus y plus y in the root of 1 plus x is equal to 0 so x in the root 1 plus y is equal to minus y in the root of 1 plus x this term goes to our address now squaring both sides x square into 1 plus y minus becomes plus y square into 1 plus x now remove the bracket x square plus x square y is equal to y square plus x y square isn't it now x square minus y square is equal to x y square minus x square y y square comes to LXS and this goes to RXS. Now here it is x plus y into x minus y. And here you can take an x y outside into y minus x. Now y minus x is minus of x minus y. And now we can eliminate one x minus y from here and here. Now x plus y is equal to minus uh, x minus x plus four minus x y and uh, this x my x y comes to LHS and uh, x goes to RHS so y plus x y is equal to here it becomes minus x so y into 1 plus x uh, is equal to minus x therefore we can find y minus x y 1 plus x now it is in the form u by v so dy by dx is equal to denominator 1 plus x into derivative of numerator minus 1 minus numerator into derivative of denominator 0 plus 1 by denominator square Not on plus uh, x the whole square, not on plus x square, on plus x the whole square, isn't it? Now, 
removing the bracket minus 1 minus x minus into minus plus x into 1 plus x that divided by 1 plus x the whole square minus x and plus x plus x are get cancelled now minus 1 by 1 plus x the whole square resistance isn't it here the question is like this we have to raise the question and find y then find the value x next question is y is equal to root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x plus etc to infinity so that dy by dx is equal to cos x by 2y minus 1. Here let we see for this. Now I am writing this as root of sin x plus again root of sin x plus root of sin x plus again root of sin x I am writing one more root sin x to x applied to infinity and uh, this function root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x plus x applied to infinity is 1 isn't it now again directly written as sin x plus now squaring both sides, y square is equal to sin x plus y. Now differentiating with respect to this. Differentiating with respect to x, we have 2y in the by dx. y into dy by dx sin x is cos x we is dy by dx isn't it now dy dy by dx minus dy by dx is equal to cos x now take dy by dx as common factor dy by dx are into 2y minus 1 is equal to cos x or dy by dx of is equal to cos x by 2y minus 1. Like we can prove the function. We is equal to root of sin x plus root of sin x plus root of sin x plus etc. to infinity. Isn't it? Again, you can understand all the problems I have solved here. Take some questions of similar types from textbook or somewhere else and do it yourself. Okay.